good man, that guy. Next up is a very good friend of mine. Please give it up. He's from Peoria for stevesteppy.com. Let's get this party thing going. Yeah! Woo! 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 Yeah! If you're feeling fine in the 309, say, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> uh, my name is stoopstuffy.com, and my comedy is adequate. Uh, I'm kind of like smoking salvia because it only lasts about five minutes while I'm up here, but it feels like a half hour. And when it's over, you'll go, what the fuck just happened? I like coming over here on Thursday nights. I always know when I'm getting near because as you pull up on Farmington Road, you can kind of smell pulse. It's kind of like walking into a Walmart or the Subway restaurant. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Um, we, we have uh, some raccoons that are attacking our garbage cans. And every morning I'd have to go out there and pick up all the trash and cigarette butts and pieces of ham and old condoms and stuff like that and I put some bleach on there because I heard that works and so I tried it and it worked pretty good but I forgot to do it one night and I was sitting at the computer, our computer's in the kitchen and I heard you know, the, garbage, the sound of an empty garbage can rumbling and I went out to the back door and stuck my head out and I didn't really look before I did it, and I went <laughs> real loud. And I probably should have looked over first, because it wasn't our garbage can at all. Um, it was actually the guy next door taking his garbage cans out to go. <laughs> he, he thinks I'm very weird to begin with. And I think I sealed the deal. <laughs> Is that the light already? Um, huh? No. Oh, okay. Um, real quick, um, I'll do some old stuff real quick. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to concentrate. Um, I have an idea of a new way of getting real clean, for, especially for the women. Um, it's called the Diet Coke Douche. <laughs> and what you do is you take a two liter bottle of Diet Coke and it's got the little screw thing on the end so you just kind of screw it in. <laughs> and then you give, you give it a... <laughs> you may have Dan escort you out if you... Um, anyway, you squeeze the two liter bottle and it fills up... What the hell is that called, Sarah? <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, if you pull it out, uh, you gotta, and after you squeeze the two liter bottle, you gotta insert an entire pack of Mentos. But before you do that, make sure you put on safety goggles because you might get hit in the eye with a fallopian tube. <laughs> Look it up on YouTube if you've ever seen the diet pill. Um, one more thing, uh, warning for the men. Um, please make sure if you're kind of new dating somebody um, that you ask a lot of questions, really get to know your date. Um, I think that's very important. Uh, before you have sex. Uh, the big reason is because if she might end up giving you a blowjob, and that could be real scary if she's bulimic. <laughs> um, if she is bulimic, you might want to wear pants. Or absorb some of the stomach acid. It's, it burns, but it's a good kind of burn. And what's cool is when your, your little... Your little what do you call that thing? Phallic penis. 
dick, whatever you call it, sticking out of your pants, the zippers are like an extra set of teeth. So it's kind of double your pleasure. Um, I'm going to do a quick thing real quick, and then I'll be out of here. It's called Burning Love. Yeah! Performance art piece. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> 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 ladies and gentlemen.